Choma Okafor does what she loves the most, nature watching. She runs a conservation organization in a former mining area near the city of Jos. One of the projects of the Eden Creation Care Initiative is a fish farm. Commercial business and conservationism is a perfect fit for Okafo. This site was an old tin mining site that was transformed into a fish farm in 1986 to produce fish for commercial purposes. There was a change in management and things were left to deteriorate. But we have come into management and our aim is to raise fish and conserve, conserve the natural environment. The fish farm breeds primarily catfish and tilapia. The fish thrive on organic feed. This wet mud, for example, attracts insects that lay their eggs in it. Bred in small ponds, the fish will later be transferred to these larger pools. Monitoring them all is Marcus Donjima. Today, he's checking the water levels. He also makes sure the fish do not fall prey to local poachers. In a farm, as you can see now, all the farms, the fish are inside now. Well, we don't have anything that we are to give them or they are eating grass and clay, so they are enjoying that one. The habitat is good for them. The Eden Creation Care Initiative also includes a plant nursery. The seedlings will be planted around the ponds and in a nearby forest. The aim is to restore a landscape destroyed by 100 years of mining. Students regularly participate in data collection and bird ringing to discover new species. Choma Okafo is grateful for every helping hand. Some of the data we have collected are from birds, plants and insects. For the insects, we identify the insects found in the farm and all the data are being analyzed and reports will be made from it and hopefully we will make um, scientific uh, reports, papers that could be uh, published in journals as well. Okafo has always had an interest in nature and wildlife, an interest she's eager to pass on to her son. She firmly believes that a healthy environment is vital for healthy living conditions. Driven by a belief that God placed humans on earth to take care of the environment, she sees her work as simply doing her duty. We hope that our project can serve as a pioneer project through which we can get a template by which we'll train other fish farmers who could go into conservation aquaculture as well. After six months, the fish are sold at the local market in Jos. It's an organic and affordable protein-rich food. For Choma Okafo, this is just the first step. She hopes to one day find the funds to expand the project to the neighboring community.